John has 10,000 rupees and wishes to invest it for 3 years. But he couldn't decide whether to put his money in a fixed deposit or a savings account. A fixed deposit will offer him more money through compound interest, whereas a savings account will return him additional money based on the simple interest. Both have the same interest rate of 10%. So what advice would you give him, whether to invest in FD or a savings account? To answer this, let's first figure out how much he will get if he invests money into a savings account. For that, you don't need to scratch your head. This is very simple. All we have to do is multiply all of the given numbers and then divide by 100 without thinking about it. And here we go. If John deposits his money in a savings account for 3 years, he will receive an additional 3000 rupees. This is just a simple interest formula where P represents the principal, R is the interest rate and T is the time period. Now let's see how can we calculate the additional amount that John will receive if he invests his money in a fixed deposit. So we need to calculate the compound interest on 10,000 rupees over 3 years at a rate of interest 10% compounded annually. Let's understand how compound interest is different from simple interest. In compound interest, we have interest on the principal amount as well as on the previously earned interest. But in simple interest, we earn additional money only on the principal amount. The compound interest formula is quite tricky. So let's learn a simple trick to calculate compound interest. Now let's concentrate on John's problem. So first, we will add the rate of interest of the first year and second year and then add product of these rates divided by 100. Here the interest rate for both the years is the same which is 10. So the interest rate for two years will be 21%. Now to find the third year interest rate, we will add the previous 21% and interest rate of the third year that is 10 percent and again the product of these rates divided by 100 solving this we get 33.1 percent so now we will find 33.1 percent of 10,000 which is 3310 so John will get additional 3310 rupees after three years if we deposited in FD which is more than the simple interest so we can suggest John to invest his money in a fixed deposit now, if you want to find the next year's interest, we will follow the same method. Now, suppose John has invested his money in a fixed deposit and after 2 years and 6 months, he wants to break his FD due to some emergency, which is also called premature withdrawal. So, can you calculate what amount he will receive? We can solve it using the same trick that we just learned. We can easily find an interest amount that he will get after 2 years using the previous trick. Now we just find how much he will get for 6 months after 2 years. So first we will find the interest rate for 6 months. Here the 10% rate is for 12 months and we have to find the interest rate for 6 months. So we will solve this using cross multiplication and we will get 5%. So, we will now find the interest amount using the previous method. We will add the previous 2 years interest rate which is 21% and interest rate of the last 6 months which is 5% and then add product of these 2 interest rate and divide by 100. Solving this, we will get 27.05%. So, after 2 years and 6 months, John will get additional 2705 rupees. Just take a note, to solve it faster, you need to keep practicing with determination. So try finding out the value of the following questions using this method and let us know in the comments section. So if you understood this session well, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more such videos. So keep practicing and keep learning with Let's Tute. Thank you.